Hello friends. We have talked about in a video before how thumb can create a restriction in improving hand functions after a stroke. And today we are going to focus on finger dissociation because all the fingers grasp or release at the same time and because of which hand functions do not improve. Most of the muscles that reach the fingers also cross the wrist, which means if our wrist is tight, then our fingers will also become tight. So if you try to stretch the wrist back, the fingers will become tighter or will even restrict the movement. Instead, if you try to move the wrist forward, our fingers are more likely to relax themselves and help in practicing the release action. So in order to practice movements of the fingers, especially the release action of the fingers, we are going to start by moving the wrist forward so that the finger muscles are more relaxed and some form of release of the fingers can be practiced. Once some range is achieved and you, can, you think that the fingers can extend a bit now, you can keep increasing the angle to more neutral angle. The second part of this action is drumming with each finger. So try to move only one finger at a time. Drumming does not mean you have to drum it really hard. Drumming means even if your fingers are flexed because of the tightness, you try to move only one finger at a time. Initially, you'll find that these two fingers are still okay, but the two fingers towards the end, which is the ring and the little finger is absolutely difficult. It's okay. Let's try practicing with the index and the middle finger first. One, two, one, two, one, two. The next step is called as finger movement out and in. How do we practice that with this kind of tightness? So for that, we are going to try to stretch the fingers out one at a time. And try to hold the position against a surface like a table. One, two, three. You'll find that the finger goes back, but it's okay. We are trying to stabilize the finger as far as possible. Then try practicing with all the fingers. We need to understand that the middle finger has the ability to move in both the directions because it is more free and all the other fingers move around it. So try to move each finger away from the middle finger. Index finger, ring and little fingers. And same goes for the thumb. Our next exercise would be with wrist inflection, we try to touch the thumb to each finger. So again, you'll find that it is relatively easier to do it with index and middle fingers, but going all the way over to the ring and little finger is quite challenging. It's okay. We can only practice with these three fingers initially. One, two, three, but make sure that they also move away from each other, even if it is a few millimeters. The next part is going to be the hardest, which is trying to move individual joints of the fingers because you will find that either all the fingers move together to flex or move inward or they open together, which is called as coactivation. So we are going to restrict three of the fingers and try to only focus on one, maybe the index finger. Maintaining the stretch becomes a mainstay in extending the fingers, increasing the length of the fingers. But how do you do this stretch? If you try to move, make the movement over and over, that's really not going to help. Instead, try to stretch the finger to as much as possible. If you feel there is too much resistance, stop. And then you can keep it over here for 30 seconds. Let the muscle gain the new length so that when you practice the release action with it, it is easier to do. And then let go. You'll find that the finger takes more time to go back to its original position. Sustained stretch really helps. The key word in this video was 
please try to use the position of the wrist in order to provide or improve your hand function so that the release action starts to happen and then once the wrist is stretched and you also perform this kind of stretching action at the wrist the fingers become more at ease it is easier to at least grasp and release objects in the initial stage let me know if this video was informative for you by liking the video please add any queries or suggestions in the comments below Ring the bell icon for notifications when my videos are out. Do subscribe to the channel for more videos related to hand therapy and neurorehabilitation. And we'll meet again soon. Bye.